Representative Thomas Massey from Kentucky was uh, part of the uh, House Oversight Committee as they were hearing testimony from uh, John Kerry, former Secretary of State, former uh, Senator and presidential candidate. Mm. And he is the person who negotiated the Paris Climate Accord and they were going to talk to him and ask him some questions. And uh, Mr. Massey had this weird line of questioning that lasted about a minute and a half. We're gonna play it all for you because it is just nectar. Please watch. <laughs> Secretary Kerry, I wanna read part of your statement back to you. Instead of convening a kangaroo court, the president might want to talk with the educated adults he wants trusted to fill his top national security positions. It sounds like you're questioning the credentials of the president's advisors currently, but I don't think we should question your credentials today. Isn't it true you have a science degree from Yale? What's that? Bachelor of Arts degree. Is it a political science degree? Yes, political science. So how do you get a Bachelor regret. of Arts in a science? Well, it's liberal arts education and degree. It's a bachelor. Okay, so it's not science. really science. So I think it's somewhat appropriate that somebody with a pseudoscience degree is here pushing pseudoscience in front of our committee today. <laughs> I want to ask you. Are you serious? I mean, this I, is really a me, serious <laughs> happening here. You know what? It is, it is serious you're calling the president's cabinet a kangaroo court. Is that serious? I'm not calling his cabinet a kangaroo court. I'm calling this committee that he's putting together a kangaroo committee. What, are you saying that he doesn't have educated adults there now? I don't know who it has yet because it's secret. Well, you said it in your testimony. Why would he have to have a saying? secret analysis of climate change? You know, you, you didn't see it because they cut the clip, but the next question that he asked was, did those people have literal pouches uh, on their stomach? Were they actual kangaroos? Okay. Sir. Are Sir, they, are they actual kangaroos on the committee? I just want Do they you have to... boxing gloves and do they punch uh, the people, the rest of the people on the committee? They are not kangaroos, Mr. Kerry. <gasps> Marsupial. Human beings. Marsupials. That um, was amazing. So, are you serious? So what is your take on this interaction? What do you mean, what's like, my take? A lot of people like this. So the lower does he make a good point? Is Thomas Massey the dumbest congressman ever? Do you think he actually doesn't know the difference between a political science degree as a bachelor of arts degree? There's no probably, way. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I so mean, is he, no, here. I, I, nothing surprises me from the right wing anymore. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I mean, that was actually pretty tame compared to what we've seen from our own president. Like, come on. So I've become numb to this kind of stuff. Yeah, and uncomfortably the, numb. Uncomfortably numb, but more importantly, I love watching Carrie's reaction. That was the that was what kind of woke me up. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. This is kind of crazy, right? This is a crazy line of questioning. And my favorite thing, and we see this over and over again, not just with Trump supporters, but mem Republican members of Congress, where they try to make an argument and they think that they're super clever. Like they're yeah, saying something really smart. And I could just I could just picture this guy like it is in his like congressional office with his aides like ooh we exactly really it. got him now. Well, he's he's an Nailed MIT. Him. He went to MIT, so he's not stupid, but he's a techie, mm -hmm. and he's going after fuzzies as they're called. He, but is it a real tech degree? But yeah, he's a mechanical engineer. So why is he talking about mm -hmm. the environment and climatology? So. You also are a politician. You did not get a political science degree, so why do I need to listen to you? Because we're all adults and we're not idiots and we can figure out how to have a normal conversation. Yeah. And also, John Kerry is quoting like scientists, everything that he's talking about. He's like, don't take my word for it. I just negotiate the deal based on the information that I have from those No, guys. no, but you need to have a specific degree in climate science in order to quote climate scientists, obviously, duh. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.